Hey family, how's it going? I hope that you are well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There would definitely be something here for you, either in this video or in any of my other videos. <clears throat> Please feel free to check the video library <coughs> to see what the divine wants you to see or hear. So thank you again for being here. If the content resonates with you, stick around. Subscribe, join the family. I would love to have you. Hit the notification bell and uh, hit the like button. It helps to get the messages out to more people that need it. The channel is all about healing, um, exposure, self-accountability and introspection, and just mostly all things healing, okay? To my returning loved ones, hey, so family, how y'all doing? I really hope that you are well. I really hope that you are putting a smack down on the devil, that you are staying on this healing path, and that you are loving on yourself, okay? Flaws and all. So I was guided. Uh, the message, the download I got was just somebody's working backwards, okay? I feel like somebody may be retracing their steps for some reason, but I feel like the divine is wanting to stop somebody from going back to some place that they were already moved from, okay? This may be different for everybody. Um, someone could be backtracking. As I said that, my ears started ringing, so that is relevant, but I feel like it is somebody backtracking that did not do all that they needed to do okay they missed a step and this is what will be the thing that exposes them <laughs> we love that so i was guided to move backwards okay usually we get the advice from spirit at the end and i'm being guided to work backwards today following the spirit so we're going to get a message from Spirit first and a couple of Guardian Angel messages and then we'll get into the tarot to see what the Divine wants you to know. Is this my card? Okay. Yeah, you see how that happened? Everything flipped around. Somebody was looking for something. This is the energy. All right, message from spirit. Dearest you, as you think, so you will experience life. Thoughts are powerful and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet, the truth is that essentially all is well. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you may think, loving you so much. That's our message from Spirit today. And this is the energy. Whoever's in this energy of feeling like you need to go backwards for something, somebody's in their head heavy. Let's get a couple of guardian angel messages and then we'll get some tarot. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, we love you, we love you, we love you, we thank you. I call upon you now, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, archangels, 
Divine beings of the highest white light and divine ancestors, please, please connect with me now. Allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most high God, please anoint all the light that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Somebody's judging themselves really harshly right now. Why, Holy Spirit? What is this energy? Creativity. Jewel. Okay. You wanted me to get this one. Okay. So we have prayer. We love this. Dear Guardian Angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side, okay? So somebody's being guided to pray, to connect with God. Don't make it formal. Just talk to God in the way that you talk to God. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. So relax. This is the energy of relaxing through creativity. Y'all that have been here with me for a while, y'all know the inner child healing is an ongoing thing. At least it is for me. It's very therapeutic. It helps you to escape the mundane adulthood energy. Okay, like coloring. I like to color with my kids. I like to paint with my kids, play games, um, watch funny stuff to just to keep the vibration high. And it really does help to eliminate a lot of the stress so I feel like the divine is saying about you being in your head and the thoughts becoming your reality they're wanting you to have some type of creative outlet to combat those negative thoughts to channel that energy and create something beautiful and in turn whatever you're creating may potentially create abundance for you this is what I'm picking up jewel Every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love. There is a jewel to be found within every teardrop. Trust, we your angels are guiding the current events. This is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love. Trust, there is nothing to fear, there is only love. Okay? So this is a message from spirit and your angels. They love, love, love you. They feel like you are a jewel. You are so more, much more creative than you give yourself credit for. They're wanting you to tap into your creative ability. Somebody here is going to produce something that's going to be awesome. Okay. Look at this. Bottom of the deck. Knight of Earth and Queen of Earth. Grounded. Okay. Somebody's going to be working on something or I feel like somebody has been working on something for a long time and that's why you're in your head. Let's get into it. I'm hearing divine flow. Okay. Divine flow. Okay. Just saw Knight of Swords. Swords are all about ment mental, being in your head, like the spirit card said. Holy Spirit, what does our loved one need to know? Nine of Fire. Two of Swords. This is victim energy, okay? This is, I've been through too much. I'm blocked. My thoughts are creating blockages. This is what this letter from Spirit was about. Some type of circumstance. Release. This is what the divine is saying. Clear out clut the clutter, okay? In your mind. 
How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Okay. This is you being consumed with your thoughts so much so that you create a barrier that you cannot walk through because your thoughts are preventing you from moving forward. Whoever I'm picking up on, the divine is wanting you to release this. Ace of Swords, that's the truth, okay? What is true? I'm hearing what is true about this situation. What is it that you desire? What's release? What are they being guided to release? Balance. This anxiety about what the Holy Spirit? Fear. Okay, I heard fear. And I, when I said fear, the star card came up. So, this creativity that your angels are speaking about. I just said somebody's about to create something powerful. You are the star. This is destined for you. This fear is a blockage. This fear has you in this stalemate energy, two of swords. Your guys are saying release this mentality. Balance out your energy. Temper earth angel energy. This card is heavy. What's that? There's an outside influence. I can clearly feel it. Who is this person, Holy Spirit? Who is this person I'm picking up on on this balance card? Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is... Yeah, Knight of Fire. Knight of Cups, Knight of Fire. This person, somebody's connected to somebody that is a joy stealer. Somebody's, if you're coming out as a, the Temperance Angel with the Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles, blessed, blessed. These, these energies, this Knight of Cups, Knight of uh, Wands energy somebody's allowing them to get you off balance in some way okay knight of cups this person is dramatic emotional and this is not your energy okay thank you holy spirit show me more about this knight of cups Exactly. Seven of Swords. I can't make it up. Decepticon. Always a Decepticon. That's got you off balance. That's got you in your head. Swords are about mental. This letter from Spirit is all about your thoughts. How can you keep an eye on your inner thoughts? What's the Seven of Swords, Holy Spirit? six of earth this person wants to take from you and a magician this person is doing spell work to take from you because they know you are abundant ace of cups ten of earth financially an abundance of love an abundance of all things really okay ace of fire new beginnings i can't make it up what else holy spirit what else do we need to know? Ten of Wands. This person wants to come in and bring you their burdens and take your Ace of Cups and your Ten of Earth. This is, they want to leave you depleted, and this is where you are working backwards, okay? Retracing your steps to figure out how you ended up in the Ten of Wands. This Knight of Air. Justice is here. What's the outcome for this night of air, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> this is for you. This came out before I said that. This is renewal, reflection, self-evaluation, and rebirth, okay? 
this page of swords this lying cheating son of a gun is creating an illusion seven of cups for you and you are here for it unfortunately okay but i feel like there is some spell work being done we did see the magician what is this lie that they told holy spirit page of swords in the reverse what's this lie emperor oh they lied and said they were an emperor knight of cups thank you holy spirit so the knight of cups came in with an offer of love this person projected themselves or presented themselves to be an emperor they're not an emperor there are they are a knight of cups and a page of swords in the reverse a liar knight of fire this person is emotionally imbalanced and that's why this all of this is clarifying balance okay three of swords this person is coming in to jack you up mess you up what else holy spirit it's all mental all of this energy is mental it's an illusion look magician What's the magician? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Mental. Really mentally unstable. This is where this person wanted to leave you. This is not this person's energy. This is what they, the spell work that they use, they wanted you to be this person. And this. Ten of Swords, Ultimate Betrayal, Turmoil, Disaster, Endings, Ten of Swords to the Ten of Wands in exchange for your Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. What a butthole. Okay, what else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Illusion, okay, that's what I'm hearing. It's all an illusion. Your spirit guides are working with you. Three of Pentacles, okay? I'm seeing three angels around you, okay? Along with the Divine Holy Spirit, okay? Three angels are working with you. Three of Pentacles. What do you want the loved one to know, angels? What do you want the loved one to know? They're working with you. This is a temporary stop on your destined path. You are destined to have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Okay? Come out of your head and get into your heart. This is what I'm hearing right now. Okay? What is your heart's desire? I feel like there's some confusion about your path. What's the Ten of Wands? This fell out. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. It's, it's about your path, okay? I said get into your heart and I saw the Three of Swords and here it is, okay? This person wants to destroy your heart space. That's why they got in this chariot and came towards you, okay? They wanted to replace the heart with the head. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, that's why the Queen of Swords in reverse is here. This person is ruthless. This person ain't got no love for themselves or nobody, okay? Queen of Swords in reverse is just very a nasty individual. Just filthy, just horrible. Completely night and day from your energy. What else do you want our loved one to know, angels? This one. They wanted you to walk away from this person. Eight of Cups. Okay? We started out when I split the deck with this Knight of Earth. 
You've put in a lot of work already on whatever this is, whatever your purpose or desire is for you. It's going to be different for everybody. Confirmation. Okay. So we started out with this night of earth. You working hard at work, working towards whatever goal it is that you have for yourself. And here comes this night of cups. Looking good with an offer, okay? I also saw the Knight of Wands. So this is a love situation. Doesn't have to be for everybody. But this person was, was sent in to distract you. To take from you. Deception. Seven of Swords. Six of Earth. To steal from you. To steal your opportunity, your abundance your finances and leave you in this angry, bitter, volatile queen of swords in the reverse energy. Okay. Now, since we started this read talking about somebody's working backwards, now is the time for you to get to this place. Right now you're at the 10 of wands feeling very pressed, stress. Okay. So you started going back. I'm here regressing. What's this? Four of water to the strength, okay? Yeah, you got to come out of this. This is a distraction, okay? You're very strong, very powerful. There may be something that you need to address. <sighs> Empress. And the Emperor is now out here as well, okay? There's a pair out here. Which is destined for you as soon as you come out of your head. Eight of Swords. So much Swords energy here. The mind, I'm trying to tell you. That's why Spirit sent us to this message first. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them. Love yourself. And then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. That means, what are you manifesting? You want the universe to reflect what you're manifesting. If you're in this Eight of Swords mental energy, you are manifesting fear. You are manifesting doubt, stress, anxiety, worry. All of the things that you do not want to be reflected back. So in this case, that's why they had this going backwards energy. They want you to get back on that Knight of Pentacles energy. You're an Empress, okay? But they have to meet you where they are is what I'm hearing, okay? And right now where you are is on this Ten of Wands, Four of Cups energy. Feeling heavily burdened and discontent with the current circumstances. So get up, walk away, and... Get into this Knight of Pentacles slowly, gradually, doing toward working towards whatever it is that you want to do. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? I have a headache like nobody's business right now. Out the blue. Okay, so you definitely need to meditate, like it's saying here, to clear your mind. And then you will be able to get regain control and get back to your passion. This is King of Wands energy. Okay? Innovative, inspirational, charismatic, ambitious, a lot of drive. Okay? You're coming back. You're moving in the right direction. Okay? Something that you are going to... As you're going back, energetically speaking... You are going to come across something that's going to trigger a thought, some type of innovative thought for you. That's going to put you in this energy of creativity. Also, um, about the creativity, whatever it is, whatever your creative outlet is for you or whatever you would like it to be, they're guiding you to do that. Whether it's painting, singing, dancing, reading, Whatever it is that you want to do, 
they want you to do that because that is where you're going to get an epiphany about what you want to do or maybe where you left off on something okay also journaling is good for you um, to release the thoughts in your mind and organize and prioritize things anything else here Holy Spirit This person has to go is what I heard, okay? So this is somebody that you're currently, look, I opened it right up to Night of Fire, okay? This person, ugh. This person operates like they're somebody's daddy. <laughs> like they're a king, okay? This person is a doozy, but they're really a knight, okay? They're really a knight. Um... The divine is saying walk away from this person okay my disclaimer i am not a marriage and family therapist i'm not a mental health therapist i'm not a doctor a lawyer financial advisor or any of the sort okay so please do seek professionals in those areas if you require assistance that being said the divine is saying that until you disconnect from this energy this is if you are feeling drained heavily burdened stressed out if you find yourself sitting like this, worried and stressed, if you started a project or you were working on something and right now you're not, and you don't really even know why you're not, then this is for you. Don't put yourself in a situation if it's not for you, okay? If it's not for you, it's not for you. It'll be for you another time, okay? So I'm not, I don't want everybody to start thinking they need to walk away from whoever they're with. If you are being nudged, if you feel like the divine is talking to you, then the divine is talking to you, okay? But this person, if you sit and think about it, you're like, how did I get here? This is why this person went start going backwards in the first place, trying to figure out how come I'm feeling so heavily burdened? Why am I so unhappy? Why do I not have any energy? Why am I angry all the time? What's happening here? Which way did I go? Where did I go wrong? That's how this person starts looking back, whoever you are, okay? Anything else here? No. Okay, now they want me to get a few of these that are relative to this message. Something significant about, okay, no, they said this is the, the, this Queen of Swords energy. Cold, cold, winter. Natural disasters energy, towers. What else, Holy Spirit? cloned okay this person this is this siphoning energy this person wanted to take your energy you could have opened up to this person about your plans what you were working on okay we're talking about somebody that's gonna you're going to be creating something innovation is the word they keep giving me okay ironically is right here innovative okay you're going to create something this situation god is let me just stop and say this god is so amazing so amazing all of these unfavorable decisions and situations and circumstances that we are in are divinely orchestrated to propel us into our purpose i feel like that is just so amazing to me And it, to us, when we're in this Ten of Wands, it looks like, what the hell is going on in my world? <laughs> Why am I going through this? What is going on? But it's all meant to have you in this Four of Cups wondering, what is going on? Why am I feeling like this? What is happening for you to sit, to quiet your mind, and then the magic begins? Then you get into your creativity because you need an outlet. You need to do something. And in that, you create a masterpiece. It's remarkable. <laughs> I just had to say that. It's, it's so amazing to me. Okay. Angels are always with you. They want you to know that. Specifically for whoever I'm picking up on, there are three angels. Three guardian angels around you all the time okay yes 
these spiritual lessons. This is what I'm just talking about. This divinely orchestrated situation that looks like everything is falling apart when it's really coming all together. Okay? Somebody's being guided to meditate outdoors for answers. Somebody needs to know that you are stronger than you realize. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Somebody name could be Crystal. Someone's being guided to get a crystal of some kind. Let's see. Holy Spirit, give me some insight. Okay, they're trying to show me a color. What color, Holy Spirit? Jade, okay. Somebody's being guided to get a jade crystal or green adventuring. What else? I always recommend clear quartz. Clear quartz can take on the... Uh, they can do what all crystals can do. If you, whatever intentions you set for the crystals to do, that's what it will do for you, okay? So I always go with this one. Protection stones, if somebody's been needing protection stones, black tourmaline is good. Black onyx, labradorite is good. Somebody's being guided to get a tiger's eye. Do I have one? Is this a tiger's eye? I think this is a tiger's eye. Looks like this. Okay, so you'll know um, if you go to a shop where they sell crystals and you, I feel like the crystal is going to connect with you, okay, whoever this is for. If you feel it, you're going to feel it's going to connect with you and you're going to say, this is the one, whoever I'm picking up on. It's destined. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what else? Also, this is your destined path. Whatever, uh, somebody's asking to be taught something. What is this, Holy Spirit? Somebody's asking me how to do something right now. What is it, Holy Spirit? Okay, this is about protection. So, yeah, okay. And also about manifestation. I don't know whoever I'm picking up on, okay. Um, police in the reverse. Somebody feels like they're not protected. Um, as far as stones go, the protection stones are the... Okay, never mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They're saying that's why I talked about protect, protection stones because somebody was asking about protection and then they wanted me to see that when I picked up the police, ooh, Ten of Pentacles that's a good sign when I picked up the thing and it said police in the reverse, that was about protection, okay anything else here manifestation, this is what the divine was talking about somebody's asking about how to manifest something and the simplified answer is to think and speak and be in the energy of what you desire to attract to you. Understand that what you think about, speak about, and be about <laughs> is what the universe will reflect. Just like it said on this card before we got started. It says, everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them love yourself and then choose the thoughts you want to the world to reflect that okay that means choose wisely on what you want to think about everything is essentially a manifestation okay so once you decide what it is you want you communicate that with the universe you start to live in that okay 
Now, everybody is not going to get what they're manifesting. If you are a low vibrational, nasty energy, like a queen of swords in the reverse, king of wands in the reverse, devil type of energy, God is going to dish out what you are reflecting, okay? You're not about to get all the wealth unless the devil allows you to have it only to strip it from you after you've been used up. So, yeah, somebody here is, is watching that is of a low vibration that is just here to send me the evil eye or send uh, the light beings the evil eye, all of which we, we are protected. We don't care. Um, and yes, for you, you're not going to get with you what you want, okay? I'm just being guided to say that. So let me help you learn something today. What else, Holy Spirit? There's more. What other other messages that are relative? <laughs> okay. They wanted me to, I guess, expand on this a little bit more. It's in the upright. So there can be a situation where the police are going to be called for somebody. Maybe this low vibrational... Uh, person that's in here they somebody's gonna maybe somebody's going to jail and that will present a solution for somebody's problem hopefully also if there's someone here that you if you feel like you are in danger okay be sure that you reach out to the proper authorities to create a solution for you okay anything else on this police car let's get let's see i don't feel like this is your energy collected. Oh, I mean, make it last. Make it last forever. What is that? Make it last forever. Make it last forever. Marionette. Somebody's doing something illegal. Somebody's done something illegal. I think that this is unrelated to this message. There's somebody in the in the uh, watching this. Somebody's energy connected to this read that is a scammer. Okay, that is a low vibrational thief of some kind. Somebody, I heard make it last. Okay, they want to keep doing this and manipulating people and getting their way. So this person. The police are involved on whoever this person is. This person could be somebody that is in your energy, but I don't feel like you're in any imminent danger. If you do feel like you are in danger, be sure that you are reaching out to the proper authorities, okay? Or this put, you might have to call the police to get this person out of your space. This person you're being guided to walk away from, that may be the case. They guided me to the Ace of Swords, so that's the truth for somebody. Uh, you're still not in danger, but if you need to, to make sure that this person leaves so that you can sleep peacefully as I stop doing this, this sweet dreams in the reverse, if that will make you feel more comfortable, you're being guided to do that. Anything else? What is this police energy, Holy Spirit? Yeah, okay. That's a confirmation. This person, this Knight of Cups that's in your space, that's trying to like be your husband, run in and this person I said, this person thinks they're your daddy. <laughs> you might have to have this person. I don't know if you're married to this person or not. So you may have to get the authorities involved to remove this person is what I'm hearing. Okay. Is there anything else? What's on the bottom? Yeah, this person, coach in the reverse. This person is a tyrant. This person feels like they're, they can't be taught anything. <laughs> coach in the reverse, they don't want to hear anything from anybody. So I feel like that's why the police are going to need to be involved. Anything else for police, Holy Spirit? Yeah, family law. <laughs> I can't make this up. Okay, so this may be a situation that's gonna go to court for you to get this person out because they they they've got you stressed out and 
you want to withdraw or something or this person is resisting to withdraw um this may be for somebody you might have difficulty getting this person out so yeah definitely contact the authorities if you need to they're saying there's a couple more here what else holy spirit yeah Aww, this car flew on top of all this drama okay and this is the divine saying all will be balanced out this situation will end harmoniously for you fear not okay this person is getting caught whatever they've been doing okay oh but boy this person is a psychopath okay This person is this weighed down energy, Ten of Wands. That's what we were talking about. Ooh, this person. What is this, Holy Spirit, this psychopath energy? Okay. <laughs> God works fast up in here, okay? It don't matter. God's like this volatile person. This person could be an earth sign. This person, this is what they wanted to create in you. I, I told you about this, the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is, this best describes the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, this is this person's energy. But God is all over this. This person is about to be weighed down. Anything else for this read, Holy Spirit? Oh, you're receiving hugs from your angels. They I, they keep every time I <laughs> get the angel energy, they show me these. Okay, let me see. Let me. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what insight do you have, angels? Okay, what's coming through right now? With the prayer, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Raphael, healing the heart, uh, Saint Germain, which is an, an ascended master that wants to work with somebody for creativity to help you innovate whatever this new idea is. The Violet Flame, purple. Saint Germain is connected to the Violet Flame. Okay, look that up. What else, Holy Spirit? Archangel Michael is here. Archangel Uriel, Crown Chakra Energy. As soon as I looked up, I see energy harvesting and they want you to know that that's what this person was doing. Why you felt depleted, Ten of Wands. Okay, so that you would not be in the energy of attracting, okay, attraction in the reverse. Okay. All right. So this person was trying to suck you dry the energy. I went right back to attraction again. <laughs> Speak Holy Spirit. Okay? But this is about to be turned around because once you purify your mind, body, and spirit, your thoughts, and start getting into this manifestation energy and knowing the knowing what is coming in for you, you will begin to attract all the divine has for you. Okay? You had the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That means that is destined for you. You will attract it once this person is out of your energy. Let's get one more. Okay. <laughs> I can't make it up. They said it's over there. And I looked over there. Yes. Favor over your life. Okay. Can't nobody stop it. Can't nobody stop it. I said, can't nobody stop it. Can nobody stop it? 
the divine is going to give you a standing ovation. Once you clear this person out, get back on your path. Do not beat yourself up. Whoever I'm thinking, who I'm speaking to, you have a tendency to be very hard on yourself. And once you do that, your mind takes you to some place. And then you get off your path and you start stressing out. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that to yourself. The divine is telling you now because this message is a beautiful thing. It will, it's, it's meant to help free you from this place you're in. Whoever I'm picking up on, the divine is feeling like you are now in a place of where you're coming to a solution. You're meant to realize that this is a spiritual lesson and that God is giving you a leg up with the message to move you out of whatever this is. Instead, you will start beating yourself up about why this person was able to come in in the first place. And then you'll get stuck there. Okay, don't beat yourself up. We all make mistakes. We all connect with people we shouldn't have. We've all been people we shouldn't have been. Okay, don't do that to yourself. Just move forward. Okay, you don't have to keep going back anymore. You know what what's back there. Okay, release. I love you, family. I really hope that this message has helped you. I do. I do declare the Spirit loves you so much. So, so, so much. Wants you to love you so much. Love yourself. Okay? Please, please, please. I want to give you another message from Spirit. I'm being guided to. Holy Spirit, what else? We're going to start with you and close with you. What else, Holy Spirit? Something else that's related to this message, this one. Yes, 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 Spirit. Dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you. I can't make it up, y'all. <laughs> all your prayers are are heard and mirrored back to you from the universal realms unseen realms be grateful praise things before they manifest mm -hmm. and always ask for the highest good when you plead and, and beg that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg instead offer your prayers as sacred gifts as a testament to your faith in a higher power open up we saw open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you add meditation as a way to become empty so you'll be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies peace understanding and joy oh my goodness i have chills all over me Whew. in this moment your prayers are being answered wasn't one of the cards prayer Archangel Sandify here. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. Fear not my love. Okay? Whoever you are, you are so loved. 4848 on the clock. Okay? Look up angel number four. You know what? I'm going to do it for you because I love you. Let's see what angel number 4848 is. Angel number 4848. What say you? Angel number 48, 48. Angel number 48, 48 also carries a message of balance and harmony. Did we not just see harmonious? Speak Holy Spirit. It reminds us to find a healthy equilibrium between our material and spiritual pursuits. While it is important to strive for success and financial stability, it is equally important to nurture our spiritual well-being and maintain a sense of inner peace. 
speak Holy Spirit, my goodness. 4848 signals. No, they skipped me to something else. Hold on, y'all. I want to make sure I get the right message. They skipped over to 4488. Maybe that, maybe. Oh, I'm going to roll with it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 48, 4488 signals that you are meant to achieve great things in life. And that you should never give up on your dreams. Your angels want you to know that they are watching over you and cheering you on every step of the way. They believe in you and they want you to believe in yourself too. Ashe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That was meant to happen that way. Because I was trying to scroll back to the 4848. And they were like, nah, nah, nah. That's what we want. Okay. I love you, family. I really, really hope that this message has helped you. The energy in here is hard to describe but it's beautiful okay i was thinking about cleansing the space but i don't even need to okay the divine is doing that just fine so have a beautiful 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 day know that you are loved you are protected god is all over this situation okay and all is well until next time family peace and blessings Ashe.